Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Craig and Corey Bentley. That's it. That's the that's the intro. Craig and Corey have been paying me this entire time. Craig pretends he we basically doesn't want Carrie to know that he's been spending a lot of money on keeping this podcast going. So he makes it look like that he hates it. He's trying to get it canceled. He loves this. This is him getting out of the house. Uh, also visit Cold Street Brewery, 1627 Cold Street, Enumclaw, Washington, and go to Bordeaux Wine Bar, and go to Mazelon, Enumclaw, and say hi to Andy and order the Hollenbeck Chalupa because the TK, the TK enchiladas are off the menu. If you go there right now, you will not find the TK enchiladas on the menu anymore. Demand those back. I'd be so pissed. But you know where you can find the Travis Kenny uh, meal? You can find that at O Chef Country Kitchen with Dan Coot Snyder, and you can also find the Bentley uh, special. No, that's gone? Temporarily, I believe. What? Temporarily gone. Why I is believe. everyone racing? Like, who are we? Are we canceled? Are we, do we go to a P. Diddy freak off or something? That I, and, I didn't, and I wasn't there. I, I didn't know. I We're getting canceled sure so. off of menus. I can't talk about my, the freak offs. This is Craig. Well, by the way, you got the, uh, uh, Craig Bentley on the mic. Yeah, whatever. And then Corey Bentley on the mic. Freak owl. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, this is a pain being here. It sucks to be here too. <laughs> I agree. It's been too long. Uh, got a lot of business to get into. This might be a longer one. You know, this might just be a longer episode. But we got a lot to get into. The number one thing that is on Craig's mind and my mind, Corey, how's pumpkin season? Ooh. Stupid. But sixteen the- bins are done. So if you want pumpkins, go and destroy them. Wait, I'm sorry. A little bit more? I hate pumpkins. But could you elaborate? On on what? Corey, did you have to put pumpkins out this year? Yes, (laughs) I did. But I had help. It was a team effort. So I didn't have to do every single bin. What, What do you mean by do every single bin? You don't sound enthusiastic about this at all. Why would I be enthusiastic about pumpkins? Pumpkins are as shitty as Pitbull. Whoa! As the as the performer Pitbull, <laughs> yeah, is that a saying that I don't know about? Like, is that? <laughs> it's just my. Did saying. you just? Make it's it? just mine. <laughs> it's an inside joke that Corey's bringing out into the public. Is it an inside inside Corey joke? Like, it's only your joke. That's an inside joke with you. Uh, they know I don't like Pitbull, so. They played it 45 minutes straight at the draft the last, last time we had a draft. Wait, is this true? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and there was some discussion whether we could all get a, a, a like league event and go to the Pitbull concert this weekend. Oh, dude. So what's your guys' punishment other than being renamed something? Like, that would be a good punishment. Like, everyone pitches in and purchases something that that other person has to endure has that to they attend. may hate. Yes. Like the opera? Yeah, the opera or like me going to a pancake <laughs> for a pan- <laughs> Craig's waffles, I mean. Is that the punishment for the other people there? That'd yeah. be my punishment. <laughs> oh. That was <laughs> what Craig would do is he would punish that didn't every sound like drums at all. Craig, yeah, that was a I shotgun. Was a, was a symbol. <laughs> was a symbol. I used a symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everything coming up on this thing? Uh, all right. So, but yeah, no, I think Craig's, if Craig won the league, by the way, how are you, how are you looking right now? What's the, what, what are you guys, are you in? In, in that league? Yeah. Not looking good. Not as bad as Corey, but not looking good. <laughs> are you, like, are you 0-3, Core? Yeah. What's, why? Anthony Richardson has been rough. Ooh, did you draft the Colts? <laughs> <laughs> I drafted Richardson and Pittman. And it's, Ooh. Not, Ooh. it's not great right now, but it's a long season. Long season, long is, season. Yeah, and then uh, a lot of field ahead. What's what? It's your why, are you two one and one, two. one and two. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Did you draft yeah. Caleb Williams? <laughs> I got Lamar. No, no, I drafted Caleb Ooh. Williams. Caleb Williams is my backup. Hey, <laughs> Lamar and Travis Kels have not performed. <laughs> hey, uh, let me let me say this. Yeah, dude, Travis Kelsey, I I'm, I just traded him. I traded him uh, to Mark because I was... might be saying I'm worse than him, but who is the only win you have? 
against you. Yeah. So it's not like his team is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's just great turd yeah, than you. He just, just like got lucky against me. Let, let me ask you, who's the guy that you, if you can say his name, if we've had him on, I'm assuming you can say his name. If we haven't had him on, use a nickname. Who's the person that you hate Jerry losing? Skelly. No, no. <laughs> let me. Hate losing to? No, wait. Yeah, let me. Let me Jared Skelly. <laughs> I just got to the hate part. You said Jared Skelly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me... Fa- wait, wait, is there is there literally anything... Any word could come after that and it would just still... It would st- who would you hate losing to? That's what I thought you were going to say. That's why I said Jared okay. Skelly. Who would you hate losing to? Anybody. Like, like no, but it. Re- I get it. But it really grinds your gears. Uh, probably, probably Jared... I was going to say Brandon, but probably Jared Moore because I've lost two championship games to him. And do and they talk really trash or do they not talk he trash? He talks reverse trash. Oh, I was rooting for you the whole time. Yeah, I was like, yeah. It's all nice. We're all winners here. Nice, all nice about he's, it. He's also one of those guys like he's on, at a, the most on a Monday night, if he's losing, he'll just like at halftime send you a thing, be like, oh, guess it's over. Great game. Good job. And then like reverse, like, like then he comes back. And it bothers you. It does because I do that all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, who's the one that you love to beat? You, I mean, it could be the same one that you, you love to beat. <laughs> like, like it's just, a, it's just like an extra. Little, Actually, little... I love beating whoever has more Cowboys on their team. No matter. So it could be. It changes each year. Yeah, it's usually Angelo. Okay. Yeah. And I just lost to him so. oh how close though was it pretty close no <laughs> not even a little bit close well close Dude, enough to not win travis kelsey is pissing me off and i'm i think it's real i'm dumb for even having him on my team it's my fault i'm the problem i'm the problem with that everyone i got lamar derrick henry i've got like decent Devin Singletary's playing well. Terry McLaurin, he played better. This Travis Kelsey is ruining my life, and I hate him, and I hate him. It's, so that's Taylor Swift's fault. It is. So you should not hate him. You should hate Taylor Swift. Well, no, I hate him, and here's why: because he's doing what I would do. He's making more money in endorsements, and just he's got the world handed to him. So it's like winning the lottery and still going to work. Like you don't need to be there. Maybe he loves football. Yeah, there's but he's not eh. I wonder how much Moderna paid him. That's he probably can't move his legs. <laughs> That's pretty, you're probably right about that. He probably has shingles. That's why he's he not probably, playing well. Yes, he's probably <laughs> has shingles. He's playing through shingles. Give him a break. That's I you know what? I feel bad now. Yeah. He's probably got every variant of COVID and shingles. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hung over and jet lagged. That is a great point. Yeah, and he's partying way too hard. <clears throat> um, Craig, you just got back. Speaking of jet lagged and and COVID, <laughs> <laughs> how was your trip? Uh, and, and and explain to everyone briefly what you do, and then what you did adding to your list. So I think we talked about it on here before. We're me and Carrie are trying to do all thirty baseball stadiums. And uh, we just got back from... It's called Craig Does the MLB. Yes. <laughs> uh, we went to Pittsburgh. It's a spinoff. <laughs> went, to, uh, went to Pittsburgh, caught a day game on uh, September 11th, which was pretty cool because they, they do some pretty cool stuff there for the uh, firefighters and police. And, That's cool. You know, kind of commemorative thing, which was... Like which a flyover? Was, which was, yeah, which was pretty cool. Uh, then moved on to Philly... Caught a Phillies game, and oh, then and then Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper, yeah. It was a Mets game, which was super cool. That's like a yeah, well, I, that's a play, rivalry. I mean, it was the, it was sold out. It was completely packed. And where were your seats? Uh, we were behind a beam. No, oh. we were uh, first baseline <clears throat> ish home plate. Th- first baseline, about three hundred level. Nice, yeah, awesome view. Uh, but it was just completely packed. And on that particular one, I was sitting in the middle of a row where it's packed, so everybody's there. So we ended up like uh, going and getting a couple beers and just walking around the stadium, standing and watching the game. It was pretty cool. 
Now, uh, someone that's been to the stadium, uh, many stadiums, are you trying local beers? or yes. Okay. Local, local beers. Yeah. yeah. So far, what's been like a memorable, decent beer that you can uh, – What's uh, what place? Um, I mean, there's so – I mean, Pittsburgh and Philly don't have – the best beers compared to here. Um, did you have garage beer in Philly? We did. <laughs> did you really? And I'll tell you this: we went to a place I can call. I I didn't I didn't know this ahead of time. We were just looking up random places in Philly within walking distance of our hotel, brewery, bar, somewhere to go get a drink. Right. We went to this place, and I didn't realize it at the time. I probably should have. It's called Max Tavern. Okay. Oh, like uh, yeah, okay. He's like, he's the owner. The actual Mac. Yes, the, the, the from It's Always Sunny. Yeah, he, own, him, and his wife own like, the like, bar. Is it like Patty's Pub? Is it a little? Well, I mean, it's kind, it's similar to that. So we go there. They had garage beer on tap. Woo! And talking to the uh, bartender, they literally just got it on tap, and not many places have it on tap. So we tried it. It's a normal lager, Coors Light ish Miller. It tastes a lot like Miller. Yeah. So I mean, it was decent. So, but Did yes. you have like one or two? Sounds or delicious. Oh, you had a couple. There you go. Well, I got a few texts. Did you start at 9 a.m.? <laughs> 9 a.m., your guys' time. There was a couple texts like throughout the day that I would get from Craig. Not, not too often, but what I did, it was like, this guy's been drinking nonstop for well, like six hours right now. The big day was Monday because we also went to Monday Night Football. The game uh, that Eagles. Everybody saw. Eagle, And that's a, that was a rough one. It, it was rough. It was, but I'll tell you this. Uh, the experience I had tailgating or just being in Philly for the tailgating. Um, and maybe somebody else could say if they've been to other, other stadiums and stuff, I've only been to the Seahawks two or three times to like tailgate or be out there beforehand. This was so different. And one of the Uber drivers that we had, we were talking to him. He actually, him and two other guys did all, all the NFL stadiums and they tailgated at every stadium. Wow. And he told me, <clears throat> he's not from Philly originally. He lives there now. Um, Philly, number two, beyond a shadow of a doubt, number two, tailgating. Really? And I threw in, I thought maybe it was Kansas City, yeah. you know, with their meat and whatnot. He said, Philly's two. The third is pretty far lower, but number one is t- way above Philly. Which is? Buffalo, he said. Oh yeah, said yeah, it was crazy. I can see that. I he said it was that. crazy, but anyway, Packers has got to be up there. It's got to be up there, but it was just crazy being there on a Monday night. Yeah, the games start at eight fifteen back there. Obviously, I mean, to me, I don't understand how people do, do like that. work the next day. Well, so think about this: Monday night game eight fifteen, they're tailgating starting at ten a.m. Right, so you've taken Monday off now to tailgate. Yes. When we got out of the stadium and walked back to our hotel, it was still after midnight. I don't understand it. So if people were <clears throat> driving home, getting home, however they're getting home, it's after midnight. So now do you take Tuesday off? Do you every time do you have two days off for yeah, these Monday night games? I mean, it, Tuesday's got to be just a standstill of just like I'm not getting anything done until like 11 a.m. Yeah, it was it was crazy. So, wow. but it was an awesome experience. Yeah, the game Was that your first Monday night football game? Oh yeah, yeah. It's only my third ever game, fourth game ever. And you you play you've gone to the Colts game. Yep, Colts. Eagles Colts in, in Indianapolis. No, we went to the Colts in Titans. Titans. Oh, Titans in Indianapolis. Yep. And then I've been to two Seahawks games. One was versus the Eagles. One was, both were versus Eagles. Bo- okay, so three Eagles games. <clears throat> yeah, and then uh that one. But it was just being in Philly, I think. Not only do I like the team, but that environment was so different. In Seattle, we were wearing Eagles gear. You get your occasional, but it's like passive aggressive. right? Dude, the way that the Philly fans treated the Atlanta fans wearing their jerseys, like where we were sitting, there was a guy sitting a couple rows behind us, super mouthy Atlanta fan, which I give him all the respect in the world. He was dishing it out just as he was taking it. (laughs) But I'll tell you right now, me and Carrie obviously don't have any kids. If there was a kids anywhere in that area, I'm like, this is not appropriate for any family environment. Is P. Diddy and his weeders out? <laughs> no, I mean, oh. just just the insults that were being flung at each other was 
craziness. <laughs> so, and then, they, hey, hey, we got kids here. And like, hey, what are you from, Washington State? <laughs> yeah. It so, actually was P. Diddy. He's a Falcons fan. I, I, <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> I, uh, welcome to Atlanta where the players play. <laughs> uh, I went to, or I have some friends that are that are that are from Philly, and, and they go to the Eagles games, and they're like, "Dude, I'm like, oh, we should go there. I'll, I'll bring my seat." He's like, "Do not. I will not walk anywhere with you if you're wearing anything Seahawks. You can wear Phillies. Uh, yeah, do not wear. I wouldn't. If I were you, I would never wear the opposing team in or around the stadium. <laughs> and uh, would would you agree with that? Um, unless you have thick skin. Like, this dude obviously behind us had some pretty thick skin. There's no, there was no fighting, like, oh, I'm going to come up and punch a guy in the face. Well, afterwards, but, well, dude. Maybe. No. With here's, Saquon dropping that ball. But here's here's the other thing, too, that I've never seen this before. So, we were at the, we were actually at the end zone where they caught the winning touchdown. Atlanta caught the winning touchdown. We were about 20 rows from the field right by the end zone. And you could just see the play develop. You knew it was going to happen, right? And then everybody's quiet, obviously. Except the Atlanta guys. I mean, yeah. they're just screaming. Yeah, yelling. they're going nuts. <laughs> but uh, So then we get the ball back, right? Going down. As soon, as soon as that pick happened. People started filing you know, out. You heard almost 40,000 seats just up and darted. I mean, it was like everybody at one time got up and just left. It was crazy how. <laughs> well, you know, if you think about it, I wonder if. Because they won the championship three years ago, right? Super Bowl championship. No, it had been four years ago. Set eighteen. So no, not maybe it's nineteen. No, Jalen won it with. Uh... They didn't win the Super Bowl. Oh, they went to it though. No, yeah, they lost to they the, lost Chiefs. the Chiefs. Yeah. yeah, when Foles won it, because that yeah, was that's also right. Foles. Yeah, that's right. That was also Foles' retirement night. The night I was there. Oh, so they they. They put the jersey up on the... Well, you guys probably didn't see it. No, I wasn't. Because no. I was told it was supposed to be like a halftime thing like you normally see. They did it pre-game, and him and his family were in an end zone. It was weird. And when we did the tour the day before, we Carson went... Carson Wentz just freaking... <laughs> we, went in, <laughs> we, went into the, uh, we went into the press area where because we got to tour the press area, and they had everything set up where it said like Nick Foles' family where they were going to sit. And I'm like... It just kind of seemed like it got like under the rug. Like it wasn't it wasn't as big a deal as I don't think that a lot of people from Philly thought it was going to be. Oh, really? Just, yeah. It was like it was I mean, like, it does have a statue. It was like Buner buzz cut night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a statue of him out there, so I mean, maybe maybe they thought it was good enough. Probably if we back up QB get the statue. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um Corey, well, Craig, real quick, last question because I, I I thought about this mid mid conversation. Uh, do you order the same stadium food though each time, or is it no. does it change? It's usually change. I mean, we like you said, local beers. We try to do that, and then um, I will tell you that the only thing we do get every time is either dip hot and, dog, dip and dots, okay, or ice cream because it comes with commemorative helmet. Oh, you're you're so the helmet guy. Smart. Yeah. So usually we get a helmet and a collect or a cup. They have the collectible cups. Go to the go, go to the Mariners and get the <laughs> no, big old nacho bowl so, of the, and a regular helmet. So this is an awesome story. I'll tell real quick. You get these commemorative cups, and most of the time they're only for pop. Okay. Like soda. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. usually the nicer ones are the usually, cups. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, an yeah, actual yeah, cup. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie asks if she can pay and get that cup filled with beer. <laughs> and would they say no? Oh. <laughs> That's great. Hey, when I ran into her at the uh, at Four Seasons, no, at yeah, at Maui Room the other night, she looked like she had about five commemorative cups <laughs> of uh, beer. She was ready to party. Corey's falling asleep. Corey, how are the pumpkins, man? Have we talked about that yet? I blew them up. Actually, you blew yeah. them up. <laughs> are they are they pumpkin balloons? Yeah, <laughs> is that why they're, they're so? All, they're all fake and light. <laughs> somebody's gonna somebody's gonna be watching some football coming up. Whoa, what's going on with you? About what? You gonna watch some football? Yeah, tonight. Who's playing tonight? Yeah, the Cowboys and the Giants. Yeah, yeah. Who do you got? Uh, the Giants. Me too. 
I think I think right now Malik Neighbors and Devin Singletary and I think even Daniel Jones things are going to go well. I think they're getting they're putting it together and the Cowboys just can't do anything. And your friend, Scary Terry McLaurin, won, yes. won me $100 last week. Uh, aww. Aww. Well, why are you sad that I won? My, no, I just got a nice little text from a friend. Oh. Uh, you won? I want to pick them, yeah, because Washington. Oh, because the commanders came and destroyed the Bengals. It's, so. the, it's the one that you chose not to do anymore. Yeah, because I suck at picking. <laughs> but here's what I've been doing. So last year, last year I've been uh, when I was putting bets on games and stuff like that for the NFL. I would usually take the uh, you know whoever I thought was favored, um, and I would take the over typically. Cause those are exciting games, you know. I want to see if I'm gonna, if I'm going to watch the Bills game, like the Bills blowing out who they play uh, the Jaguars. Blew them out. That's the game I want to watch. I want to watch that type of football. I want to see just Josh Allen throw five touchdowns. That is fun for me. Hit the over. Blow them out. They're a favorite. And then you you just bet them hard. What I learned last year is that usually um, games... They're, they're sometimes pretty slow to start and then they then they then they end slow as well. So so what I learned is when I was betting the over is that the uh over would hit in the first half but the under would hit in the second half. And uh the first half the team that I wanted to get blown out was usually either winning or close to winning. So now I'm betting all underdogs at first half, and I'm betting all unders. And I'm at like 67% right now on my wins. So I'm, I'm up money. I'm not saying it's you know surefire away, but that's if you're doing that every week and you're do, getting 67% return on your bet, uh, essentially it's, you know, you're up. You're, if you're winning those bets, those bets are like you bet, you know, five bucks you're gonna win 10 bucks so if you're winning 67 percent of those then you're gonna be making your money back plus plus some Corey, go ahead what do you want to contribute sorry what (laughs) Corey's face is in the mic as if he's falling asleep right now i am right here ready to go i don't know (laughs) i can see you i understand what's happening Corey, let's talk what's going on Talk to me. Nothing. No, up? what's it? No, what's we're, up with you? we're gonna do an exercise. Can we do an exercise real quick? I don't, you can't do push-ups. You no, a, men, a mental, <laughs> a mental exercise. Let's do a mental exercise. Okay. About what? All right. Here we go. All right. I want. Do I have to close my eyes. Sure. Flashcards. Tell me here first. Make the microphone go into your mouth, not into your mouth, but point it, to, point it towards your mouth. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you see where the mic is compared yeah. to where your boom thing is? I okay. put it that way purposely. Okay, perfect. I curved to the left when I thought. <laughs> uh, I want you to empty your brain right now. What is what? What is what's going on in Corey's mind? Give me three things. They can be random and change names if you need to. What's the first thing on your mind right now? What is on my mind? You got it. You just say it. You're just trying to. You're editing it right now. You don't want to say it. Sound might, might be stupid. You might be. I want a cucumber right now, like <laughs> with, with, with baby oil. Like, I know one of them is Georgia. 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 Oh my my. Georgia versus. I think he was trying to make a song reference. No. What well, it was. Oh. <laughs> Get Georgia on your mind. <laughs> Money on my mind. What is it? Say it. Just say it. Don't edit it. So, so what is it? P. Diddy. Is it? Because you said his name earlier. Okay, what do you think? What do you think about the whole P. Diddy thing? He's a bad <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> He's bad. Do you think there's other stuff going on? Do you think you think you're gonna find out about more people? This is like Epstein, Epstein oh, Island where we learn about he, he's, he already knew this three months ago from yeah. his meetings. Yeah. I knew what was coming. <laughs> Let me tell you it's, this. It's, this is what was said. <laughs> this is what was said at the meetings. P. Diddy is Epstein for celebrities. Ooh, but wasn't Epstein also Epstein for celebrities? Not like this. <laughs> and Epstein wasn't doing things with him. <clears throat> okay, so what What else? Like, what else? Uh, 
uh, what else do you think? Usher should hide. What do you think about Meek Mill? <laughs> There's what a lot you, of people that should hide. <laughs> what do you think about Meek Mill? <laughs> Big Philly guy. Uh, is what it is. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about uh, Kevin Hart? Yeah. The Kevin Hart stuff. Crazy. Not surprising. Not surprising no. to you. Industry plant is what you're saying. Not not a real comedian. Industry plant, funny guy. Anybody that's rich and gets too much in their own head does what they want to do whenever they want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen you've seen Power Corrupt. Yeah. Where have you seen Power Corrupt before? On TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh what else is on your on your brain, Corey? Uh let's get deep inside you. I've been looking uh, for homes and jobs. Okay, homeless jobs. <laughs> and the homeless camp got moved by Rite Aid, if everybody's wondering. Yeah, I, I, I heard that it got chained I up. I got kicked out. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I work here. <laughs> got, got chained up. And and they're just, all, they're they got fenced the, off. Yeah. yeah, they're back at the library. Yeah. Learning. Yeah. Getting educated. That's the thing. You, you, that's which, what they need to do. Get an edumacation? Edumacation. Read more. Yeah, I don't want to go to the library. So, so you're looking for homes in what area? Uh, anywhere and jobs in what area? Preferably, Anywhere-ish. Pre- is this preferably the United States? Are you? Is this why like, you're moving? I'll consider out of the United States <laughs> if they accept me and give me a visa. The credit card? No, like whatever their whatever their green card standard is for whatever country accepts me. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but where, also a visa, the where, black one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, where where are you looking seriously? Are you looking out of state? Are you just going on Indeed, or what are you looking at? Like, how are you finding jobs? Uh, I go on governmentjobs.com. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe any of this now. I'm sorry. I've applied actually, at so many governmentjobs.com, it's not even funny. Any county or city jobs are on those sites. And how close are you? Have you got any callbacks? Not even a uh, sniff. <laughs> I'm like 0 for 12 at this point. Like the first three hurt. Like I was like, oh, this sucks. And now I'm to the point of failure that I'm like, no, this is fine. I'll just keep applying. Have you ever thought about uh, visiting anti government jobs.com? <laughs> that's, that's where the meetings are. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that's why I'm not getting interviews. Because <laughs> I, on my uh, resume, I put QAnon founding member oh, for the, okay. yeah, for the yeah. group. And yeah. I think that might that be might part be it. Of it. Special interests, uh, yeah, conspiracy, conspiracy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> against government. <laughs> you got to change it from within. Yeah. Motto: Change it from within. I mean, that was my plan. That was your plan. No. Not anymore. Which now, is weird. Not yet. Now it's just because QAnon told me when I was going to apply that there was already plants there to get me hired. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening. Oh well, maybe they're vetting you. Maybe they're seeing like how dedicated is he? We're how many times I'll apply? Yeah. Exactly. Well, the city of Auburn hates me <laughs> six times. <laughs> city of Bonnie Lake hates me two times. Okay. City of Kirkland hates me city, one time. City of Inuqua? I've never applied there yet. Kent. I don't like Inuqua. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> uh, Kent hates me one time. <clears throat> Washington State hates me. You know, I could see you. You'd make a good cop. Have you thought about that? No, like you're, you're. I would not make a good cop. No, no, you. I would try to counsel them and help them out so much. That's, that, what, that's they would, what they would kill me, and I wouldn't realize it. That's what they need. I know that's what they need, but I will also die because I'd pick the wrong one and then get shot. Because I'd be like, "What do you need, sir?" And they'd be <laughs> would, like, "Would you be juggling him at the moment?" <laughs> <laughs> I juggle to like break the ice. No, I feel like you'd walk up and you'd be like, "You would, you would know how to assess the situation of do I really want to escalate this thing in a sense, or do I want to de-escalate this? I'm going to de-escalate this, and I'm just going to walk away. I de-escalate everything. Yeah." That's what I heard. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm just joking. You, you, you eventually get one of these jobs. You take de-escalation training. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I could teach the class yeah. already. <laughs> guys, I, and I should also put that on my resume. I don't know why. Guys, I listen. We're here to just to serve and protect. Uh, and I'm not here for my own ego. I don't uh, even know why I have I a just, gun. I'm not going to use it. Yeah. I don't need one. Just put unless me out I there. see a pumpkin. Just put me out there. If I see a pumpkin, I'm using that firearm. I want a nightstick. They still do that? <laughs> Can I get a flamethrower? <laughs> hey, billy club. <laughs> yeah, I want a billy club. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use that either, though. So these types of uh, government jobs that you're applying for, is it just like you know water? Astrophysics, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> um, there's a lot of pay grade Have you tried Houston? <laughs> There's a lot of pay grade difference when I, you know, they want degrees in certain things, and I'm like, no, I just pay me and I'll learn. No, I, I, I Celsius and Fahrenheit. Yeah. 
Just like teach me degrees I, Fahrenheit. I, I, <laughs> teach me. I honestly didn't understand why when they applied <coughs> to be the city attorney for Auburn. They didn't call him back. I don't understand either. Because <laughs> again, <laughs> like on the job training should be a thing. Yeah, that is. It's for a trade. cities. So it's a trade. teach me how to sue people. You're learning. <laughs> teach me. Yeah. I'm a I'm a blank canvas. Yeah, mold, I'm a cl- mold me in what like, you want. I'm young enough. You could have me for like 40 years and mold me to be your what your you want. watchdog. Correct. And they didn't like it. Apparently. Mm. Have you tried anything besides a government job? No, I want like government <laughs> like top end job. Top end job. <laughs> yeah. Top end job. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you, you like, watch that's what like I some... apply for is things that I'm not qualified for. Are you on? <laughs> That's what people do when they're on like uh, when, when unemployment. The unemployment. They they. That's exactly what. They, so you're so you're you're doing the unemployment without being unemployed. Oh, I'm getting unemployment. Oh shit! Did I say that a lot? You're getting. Oh, okay. No. Louder. On a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Br- Bory Cantley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to pick up my check. <laughs> No, honestly, I've applied for all customer service type jobs. Craig, have you done hiring before? Have you sat on interviews and like yes. asked some questions here and there? I've been part of panels. Uh, can we? I've been on part of panels as well. Do you think we should just quickly do a mock interview to kind of help Corey? In- I've actually sat and talked to him and have him filling out his uh, applications uh, with keywords. Yeah, because it's not that... it's not about humans anymore. It's <laughs> about AI and computers. It's it's about keywords that HR gets. We and, both know that. Yeah. You want to know He's what else? Using words. You want to know what else gets... is stupid these days? No quid pro quo. No, like they don't want to know my name. I'm like, oh, I have a bunch of people I know that works there that they'll vouch for me. They don't care. Yeah, like, I can't get hired off of well, a friend because it's a blind test. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is outrageous. <laughs> Well, have like, you, have I you, should get hired because there's seven people there that know me, and that, that is, and true. then I should like wink, and they should be like, "Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're like, hey, half the league's here, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're in." <laughs> have you have you thought about kicking people out of the league until you get a job? <laughs> not, even, not even, not even a callback. You know what I have in my inbox? I have six emails from Auburn that from are the same seven. person saying, "Thank you for applying." Do but not reply <laughs> at Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided to go in a different direction. Yeah. Uh well, you can interview me if you want. Let's though. interview you. Yeah, let's sure. do it. Okay, hi. Uh oh, welcome in. Sit on that black couch over there. How are you doing? Is this a porn shoot? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, for the right amount of money. So I'm... what are some interests that you <laughs> have? You ever had? Uh, have you been to a PDD freak off before? Personal interests, <laughs> yeah. um, like whips, chains. <laughs> they excite me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wh- where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah. Um, probably in a bus somewhere in Montana. <laughs> no, no. If I don't get this job, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm probably either way, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's. Okay, for real, for real, Z's. Uh, hi, hi, uh, Mr. Bentley. Thank you for joining us today. For um, it you know, seems that you're pretty qualified for this position. Obviously, we got to vet you a little bit. I forgot what position I applied for. What am I? What, what is are this you job? applying for? <laughs> Have you thought about doing something? Have you thought about applying for a job that doesn't exist, and then convincing the city that they need to create this position, and then and then during it the whole time, like I'm flawless. Why do you think I would get in so easy there? Yeah, I, apparently it's hard to work at the city of Auburn. Let's see what 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 is something that that a, I got it. Uh, you got a question? Yeah, no, no, because there's apps now where you could probably easily like you know survey an area. So you just got to think of apps that be like, hey, I'll be your guys' uh, phone routers. And they're like, we already... That's not 1972. But you're like, but you still... What if the power goes out? Then they shut down. But why? But then you, lo- you guys lose money. That's fine. <laughs> there's, there's, the, the cities aren't making money uh, just because they're open. They're making money because people pay taxes. All right, so what can you do that's that's already <laughs> easily done? By I'm now. not paying my taxes. <laughs> What's <laughs> your taxes? I should be a tax man. That's what you should be. I, you know, I have actually looked at those jobs. Walk door to door and collect taxes. I've looked at some of those jobs, and there's. I've also looked at some um, government jobs. Where you go into like casinos and you do like undercover work and you do yeah. stuff like that, and it's very specific. They'll train you, but they want like specific like military police background type people. 
Like I, I'm great with a box I was like, knife. I'll shoot somebody. I got a box <laughs> knife. I can. Have you guys seen this? I was like, pretty sure that I'll. I can tell you who's stealing. Like, oh, that's true. Yeah, just, just by looking. Right. So, but I didn't apply for any of those. Mm. That'd be an interesting job, though. I think you would be a good bartender. I don't make drinks. Dude, what your personality? You gotta go. You gotta go. My per, you think my personality would be good for a bartender? Yes, yes. Because <laughs> no, you're because no, no. Bartenders <laughs> are not like entertaining. They get the drink. You would do that. Yeah. No one's looking to talk to the bartender. You're not looking to talk, but you might. But her, eye, but her eyes meet. And yeah, then... but occasionally you might be kind of like you'll have a snarky comment that's funny. And then you just move along. Like, you're, like, you're an alcoholic. Yeah. What well, can I get you, alcoholic? And, and they're like, what? You're like, what should we call it? And then we're friends? Yeah, you're friends. And then they ask him for a drink. He's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. You, can I get a drop? Like, what? I got Rainier. You got you to gotta work off what you're good at. What do you think you're good at? Not much. No, no, no. That's not good. This is a terrible interview, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you good at? Not much. No, but whatever you think. You know what I'm good at? Yes. You know what I'm good at? Yes. What? Showing up. There you go. Yeah. You're you're always. (laughs) That's half the problem nowadays. Yeah. You know what uh, timeliness is next to? Godliness? Cleanliness. You know what cleanliness is next to? Godliness? Uh, uh, All right. No further questions, Your Honor. (laughs) 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 What would you What would you tip him on? Like, what would you say he needs to say? I, I, I don't have. get it. I don't say anything. They don't interview me. Well, dude, you got to do. I, like, I can't get past the AI computer. Well, you're just you're desperate right now for what to get out of an area. Like you're just so you're just trying his, to find his his problem is, and I've told him this. Okay, yes. he's he's applying for positions that he actually is qualified for. The people that are getting these positions ahead of him are over qualified for the positions they're taking. Oh, I see. That is what's going and on. And what he suggested is I get a list before, and oh. then I I take them out. <laughs> wait, wait like on dates? It, whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the date could go either way. Hey, notice you're applying for the same thing as I am. <laughs> Tells us that we got a lot in common. <laughs> I don't go on a lot of dates, but I felt this one. Listen, this you ever be a match. you ever heard about sleeping their way to the top? I know you're not hired yet, but I'm willing to sleep with you <laughs> just in case you get hired. But you're the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Did I get hired? <laughs> not at all. Oh. Was this a DoorDash interview? <laughs> <laughs> they let anybody do that. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Exactly. You don't talk to anyone. You make your own hours. You show up and do whatever you want to do. It's because I, I don't want to. You don't like thirty bucks an hour. No. Why not? Because I don't want to do DoorDash, dude. It's the best. Honestly, there's part of me where I work all day and I'm lazy, and then I'm like, I don't want to work anymore. Right. Like I shouldn't have to work more than forty hours a week to survive. When I've been working forty hours a week since I was twenty years old. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why you're not kidding. <laughs> Do not say this in an interview. I don't say it in the interviews. In the interviews I put, I show up, I'm the best person you'll ever see in your life, <laughs> and there's nobody that's better than me. And You have some Aaron Mayer going on right and now. Brandon you, told me that could you be a in salesman? Brandon's produce, nobody is better, so then that's how I learned it. Could you be, could you be No, I'm too honest sales. to be a salesman. What does that mean? It means like I was like, this car is a piece of shit. I don't, I don't think I should sell it to you. The, people might buy that. Buy the car because I said that? Yes. It's refreshing. It's new. It's oh. something you be like, hey, listen, I, this could be a lemon, this could be a lemon, you know, but let's get you in it today and find out. I don't out. know, you don't know, but you buy it, we I make money. Okay. Let's find out. Let's find out if it's a lemon. I could be a salesman in character. Like I'd have to have a character. Have you ever thought about just creating a new I, a new, new version of Corey that, <laughs> that nobody's rejecting? They're not rejecting the real Corey, they're rejecting the fake Corey. That sounds like a lot of work. The rock Corey. <laughs> Can we? Are you done? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been done. So, <laughs> you don't like this? Like what? Okay, let's. Okay, will you give an honest answer to what? Ask. Okay, if I give you an honest, uh, an honest interview question, will you give an honest answer? Yes. Okay. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully, uh, a new career where I can learn and grow, and be with for a long time, prospering. 
take out hopefully. You want you want directness that you're like I see myself uh, being a value to wherever I'm at, whether that be in the workplace, at home, in my community, with my family. No, uh, I don't want to talk dude, about that's my family actually community. super close to what I say to myself every morning <laughs> I wake up. You look in the mirror. <laughs> You're I like, piss excellence. <laughs> You're a value to your community. And gosh darn to it. Your family. People like you. <laughs> gosh, you're good looking. You're, how do you do this every day? Oh, I know how, because you're you. And, and, and in the meantime, and that's the and that's the character Craig's Craig's created. <laughs> your 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 character, you look in, your, in the mirror, you're like, you piece of crap. I'm like, oh, you dirty is, dog. You, you deserve pumpkins. This is terrible. <laughs> Who let you grow your hair out? <laughs> <laughs> I actually like it. What's funny is how many people care is surprising to me of where I get, like, why are you doing this? You should cut it. You should do this. I'm like, I don't care, like, yeah. why I'm growing it out. And now at this point, I'm like, I'm just intrigued by it. Are you working out, too? No. It's just, it's just pumpkin. It's just the pumpkin uh, <laughs> pump. <laughs> the, pump, the pumpkin pump. I think pump. the pumpkins made me gain 15 pounds. Oh, really? Um, are you eating them? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get rid of them other ways. I know <laughs> how to get rid of these. I'm, a, I'm going to my break. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a pumpkin fan. No pumpkin spice. Oh, you know what I am a fan of now though. What's that? I found well, white coffee. You ever had white coffee? Mm-mm. Oh, I hate coffee. I'm not a coffee. Well, drinker. like like a white mocha. Like a white, no, no, like, like white coffee. So you order a white on white. So it's white chocolate with white coffee. Is it milk? Is it white chocolate with Go, milk? You have to get, like, Starbucks doesn't have it. Go to, like, an espresso stand, order a white on white iced with caramel. Oh. It's got more caffeine in it. Also. Yeah, and there's more caffeine in white coffee than regular coffee. White on white. This yeah. is this is explaining a lot more. White on white. <laughs> Understanding this a whole lot more. Well, they have them at the meetings, so. <laughs> uh all right, let's go back to another question. Uh, are you willing to travel for this position? I'd probably. Okay. I mean, I, that's what you were meaning. Right? Yes, oh, yeah. I thought you meant like travel. Okay, like, well, let's talk about that. More Sorry. than five minutes that I drive now. <laughs> are you are you willing to? This is a pretty far commute for you. Is are you willing? Are, can you make that drive? We, we we offer one day from work from home, but the rest four four days in office. Uh, will you drive the hour and a half each day uh, there and back? Where are we going? Kirkland. I'd move closer, but yeah, I'd drive it first. Okay. But I'd end up moving close. Like, because it seems how I'm still looking for places. If I would have got hired at Kirkland, I would have started, trained, did everything, drove, and then looked for a place closer to get an apartment. Because it's actually cheaper some places over there. Okay. What currently, what current, what, what are you doing? In I your, know you'd miss me. What are you doing? I'd have to call into the podcast. What are you doing in your current position now? Oh, is this still an interview? Yeah, that, that you feel you could be doing better. Uh, nothing. I'm pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. I was actually training somebody today, and they were very happy with my training. Oh, okay. I tried to get them to come to the podcast too. Dude, I love the I love the Corey Trump you got going on right now. <laughs> I actually today I was training someone, and they said I was the best trainer they've ever had. <laughs> it was Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he moving over there? Uh, he got. He's just tired of dairy, so now he's he joined the produce team. Dude, that produce team <laughs> is the coolest team in the world. Hey, we have a we have a pretty good team. There's, how do you get so many hours? <laughs> we got a pretty good team. I'm I'm looking to leave though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dairy. I'm, I'm looking to leave for different reasons. I can't retire there. Is why I want to leave. The retirement sucks. True. So I'm leaving to retirement basically. Well. You know what you could possibly do is go pick it with Boeing, and they might think that you work there. <laughs> they're just that guy looks like he's here. And then do we hire him? And, and then and then they're like, when when they when they send the contract, you're like, we did it, everybody, <laughs> we did it. And then you just file in with them, and, and then they're like, all right, which where are you at? And I'm like, uh, 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 I just got hired, and nobody trained me. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I was just I'm a professional picketer. <laughs> oh, dude, have you thought about doing that? I thought about just going around and picketing and getting paid to picket. I thought about starting a business <laughs> that you could buy me to hang out with you. Like if somebody wanted to go to like the fair, let's say, but they didn't have anybody to go with, you would buy me and I would go with you. This doesn't have you, you, Okay. Opposite of Uber. This is genius. You're opposite of Uber. You pick me up. 
Yes. Yeah. And I go with you wherever you want to go. And because I, I'm your friend for the day. I no no, I don't want to talk to you. You don't have to if you don't I want, want to. you to sleep in the car. I just want to use the carpool lane to get myself to the to the Seahawks game. Sure. So I know that I'll have you riding with me. I'm in the carpool lane now, but when we get there, now you've got to be rented to go elsewhere. Mm, I feel like the rental Includes the Seahawks game and a drive home. No, no. Yeah. See, now you're getting greedy. Yeah. People are not going to do that. No, if you're going solo to a Seahawks game, somebody's going to want. I am not going. I mean, my friends up there who who already who live up there. So I need, <clears> but I just, I don't want to make that far drive by myself from Enumclaw well, all the why way don't out. You get one of your friends to ride with you because they're don't already be, up don't there. Don't be stingy. They're already up there. That's, you know what? I would do it, but it would be like an extra charge, like a transfer charge. For, yeah, no, because then, then when you get dropped off, then there's going to be people that are going to want to go from Seattle to, like, Vancouver and, and skip the skip the line there. They're going to want to, like, you are just basically... The dummy? Are you proposing that I'm a dummy? Yes. People putting their cars? Yeah, and you just sit See, there. Like, I'm not opposed to it, but I like my idea better, because at least I get somebody gets to hang out and do something they enjoy with somebody because they're lonely, or they don't have somebody to do it with. Like, if they wanna, I want to go to the park, and then they're like... Pause. <laughs> They're like, okay, I'll pay this guy two hours to to go to the park. Yeah. And if you want to talk, fine. If you don't want to talk, then no, we don't have to. What would you, dude? Okay. Would you it's called Corey on deck? I feel like the person that could, that could be that could end up being bad. Yeah. I don't see any problem with it. People that are listening to this, one of them probably is Dan. Right, Dan's probably listening to this. Yeah. So if Dan hit you up and said, "Hey, this weekend, <coughs> I need somebody to help me cater this event, or I need somebody to," uh, would you do it? Or if I got paid? Well, uh, duh. Only my if you fee, to wear a waiter outfit. My fee that I'm charging to the hangout. And how much? Okay, what is that? How much is that? What's your know, fee? Probably like sixty an hour. Sixteen. Sixty. This is, enjoy the pumpkins for the rest of your life. I don't know. I'll put out coupons. Probably I love coupons. <laughs> you're just on Groupon. <laughs> One of my favorite things is when you're you're shopping online and the little thing pops up and you put a coupon code in and then you're like half off. Maybe I'll do that for some people. Why yeah, don't you just Capital One does that now? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just already go half off and be like, hey, because that devalues me. Okay, but okay. Like I'm, you got to think like, oh, this guy's worth sixty an hour, but I'm gonna get a deal at forty. Okay, I'm Dan right now. I'm Dan right now. Okay, I call you up. Hey, hey, Corey, I'm I'm gonna cater this thing. I'm gonna need an extra set of hands. Yeah. Uh, what do you, you know? Are you interested? Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what what's the pro? What's what? What do you feel is a good way to? How much of a wage to pay you? Well, my going off. <laughs> My going rate sixty an hour for uh, my my hangout, um, but I do have a special going on right now, thirty an hour. Okay, and uh, dinner of meatloaf. Oh, okay. So thirty thirty bucks an hour. This is going to be a wedding. I'm going to probably need some help. So, um, and I get cake if it's a wedding, <laughs> and at least one dance <laughs> <laughs> with the bride. With the- <laughs> With the bridesmaid of my choosing. <laughs> and I need to make sure we're off by nine because there's an open bar. Dude, I do not understand, Corey, why you're not getting picked for these things. I have I have zero clue why you're not getting picked for these things. I don't things. understand it either, you, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, no, you're... I don't even know how I'm single. I don't have know you thought about... Are. Have you thought about... Are you just want to get out of retail altogether? Yeah, that's the, the thing. Is Part of it is I could go get another retail job, but I make... At the top end of retail already, but would you want to like move up in management? No, I already did that. No, you you did and you didn't. I did it enough to know I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me your tell me your dream job. Like, what would you truthfully you 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 would work for, like if I was rich, but I needed to work just because work for Jim or something. Dude, I feel like I'm talking to a seven year old right now. I'm I'm I want you, honest answers right so now. Rude. I want honest answers right now. I'm giving you honest You're going to work 40 hours, though. It's not going to be 20-hour bullshit. You're working 40 hours a week. You can choose the days. You can have weekends off. 40 hours a week. What are you doing? What well, are your hours? My first thought would be, does Craig own a bowling alley? Because that would be the first. Like, seven-year-old. Okay, we're talking to a seven-year-old again. <laughs> and then my second thought. That would be awesome, though, because in this scenario, I do my dream job also and own the bowling alley. That's would true. Would be, 
Two things that I would be into <clears throat> is some type of sports marketing, like marketing thing with football teams and stuff like that. It yeah, you are cool. good. I get it. Okay. I would like that. I see that. Or some type of like counseling, meta, like helping people, like either like what, junior high, what, high school age. What a complete opposite. I'm going to market people, manipulate them, show them the cool things that they need it's the in same, life. It's the same process. I'm going to tell these people that they... Oh, okay. It's the same exact yeah, price. That is true. Okay. Have it, you thought about sports psychology? That would be cool. Where you're sitting there and you're walking players, you know, who are in a slump, and you're going to walk. Why, why a, are you in a slump right now? A lot of um, like, there's one guy I was reading a lot of his books when I was looking through stuff, and they pay him to go. Like the Lakers pay him, and he goes in there and does like like shows and like talks to them and stuff like that. So they sports teams do that a lot. They That's a magic up. guy. Yeah, learn some magic. I already know magic. Johnson? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's too much. <laughs> I can juggle scars. Scars? Scars. <laughs> Who's my, got some scars out my, there? But my heart has scars, Travis. Ooh. And I juggle those every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> you rapping again? Yeah. I juggle them every day. <laughs> throat goat back. Yeah, throat goat. The boat goat. <laughs> this is why the last three weeks or a month that we haven't did this, yeah, it's, have it's, been, it's the, been okay. have been the best. <laughs> I've, I honestly, I'm ready to quit freaking full body cast like every moment. Yeah. But then, but, but right then, now? because yeah, of yeah. me? I, no, no, oh. no, 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 stop. I felt like I was answering as honest as I could. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm just now be, now let me be honest. This is your, okay, psychologist. I'm in a slump. Be, be my psychologist, sports psychologist. Ooh, can I do it also? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey guys, uh, I see you're batting a hundred. I'm thinking I'm. It's below the Mendoza line. Here's the thing: full body cast has been fun. I feel like seven year old. He's being serious. (laughs) I think that. (laughs) No, I feel like full body cast is fun. It's a good hobby. Uh, It's more like I I enjoy talking with some of the guys like Craig and Corey. They're fun, and Joey's fun, and we're we're right here. Um. But right now, currently, with my financial situation, it's more beneficial for me to uh, to make money door dashing, spending my time rather than recording. I, I do like being entertaining to people, but it's not what it used to be. And I don't want to go viral. I used to have thoughts of going viral. I don't want to be go. I don't care about that any anymore. And it's also something that. I think has just kind of ran its course. So now it's just like a hobby. I have a cool room. I have cool equipment. I have cool guys. I have one friend that wants to do a full bogey cast type of a thing where it's more of a video series, go nine holes, bring a, bring a guest on. And then we interview the same question each hole, which I think would be fun. But that's so like Bryson DeChambeau kind of like Bryson. But see, this was, this was pitched to me about, year year and a half ago and i and i said no but but i don't want to i don't have time for all that so i don't really i don't get any happiness other than honestly garage night i enjoy garage night we bring you happiness yes this is a lot of the nicest things you've ever said to me this is a lot of fun psychiatrist now we're not on the show oh sorry okay so i still want to put on note that that was very nice yeah so i enjoy it so this is fun for me and I know that there's going to be a handful of people that listen to this, and it's fun for them, too. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Dude, that's a great question. So On a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I, what I'm hearing is yeah. you're having an inner struggle okay. with things that are going on in your life as far as finances and everything. Mm. And here, you're being pulled this way for financial purposes. And for here, you're being pulled this way for more of a hobby or fun and those meet in the middle sometimes and you're ha- struggling <coughs> to be able to go between the two. Mm. So from my understanding, if I was in your situation, mm-hmm. um, I would probably just definitely go with the financial <laughs> side and not worry. <laughs> <laughs> Even hold on. <laughs> Even sober therapist Craig talks with his hands. <laughs> uh, I, you know what, Craig? Thanks for pointing that out. I know you're trying to end this um, podcast altogether. But 
Oh, I was being serious. But but here's the thing. Okay, as I I looked up to the bar stools and the John Boy Media and uh, and the different types of bring people on. I wasn't really a Joe Rogan guy, but I did like the randomness of like having different types of people on. I think that's fun. Um, and then as I continued in my own friend groups, I realized that I had, and this sounds stupid. I had everything that I kind of wanted. You know, it's like you have the inside jokes. It's fun. It's funny. You got the quirky people. The one thing that I really liked with Full Body Cast was it's kind of like Sesame Street or like the Muppets or maybe Saturday Night Live where you have different types of characters and different wants and needs. Like a Homer Robertson is different than a Holly Graff and a Holly Graff is different than a Joey Hollenbeck and a Joey Joey Hollenbeck is different than like a Rhiannon Brovold. Um, and, and so it's, it's like you have the, have these different types of, of collective people, but the one thing they have in common is truly, I would say a sense of belonging as well as a good sense of humor that they can laugh and they can enjoy, but people grow up relationships happen. Like kids get born, people move away. It just, and so that, at that point you're just like. This was fun and I enjoyed it. And I'm at my like eighth year right now, but like maybe this is it. Maybe we're done now. I don't know. That's where I'm at. I'm like, I think I'm ninth year, 2015. I want to say, I don't know. Ninth year? No, no. Me and yeah, yeah. Almost Jamie and I are married for nine years as of October 23rd. This started a little bit after that. So I'm like eight and a half years into this. Yes. So I don't know. It's it's. I've had fun. I've enjoyed it. A lot of laughter. A lot of growth. A lot of people joining. But at this point, it's like I don't have anything else to give it. Hey, I'm all for. We'll just call it the date. Call it good. <laughs> Demolition date. <laughs> What's today's date? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, September 26, twenty twenty four. Blow it up. <laughs> End of full buddy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you are, have to figure out where your boundary is and what your time's worth for you. If you're not enjoying doing it, then it's not worth your time. Yeah, no, I mean. Yeah, it's not worth my time. But I don't know. But here's the thing. Do you guys enjoy it? At the end of the day, it's fun. But, but do you feel I, like- get, I get where you're coming from. Because you got to think about this, too. If you had asked, because we're almost 40 years. Yes, correct. And I can tell you, sitting over in that little corner... With the small table when we started this, I would have never thought we'd still be doing this. Well, true. Honest truth. Yeah. And it was like, I think for, and to be honest with it, you are the type of guy that you get behind somebody that you believe in, you're all in. Like you're, there was a point when you showed up and you bought the shirts and you brought the beer and you're like, hey, love it. Listen to the podcast. Travis, cool. It's great. Hey, you know what we should do? We, you know, let's have a garage night type of thing where, you know, Corey and I come on, we talk, we bring some guests on, but it's like we're having, I used to have a garage. And it's like, I love that. That's why I enjoy it. It's fun. I enjoy gambling. If, the, if anyone wants to do a gambling podcast where we talk about sports bets and stuff like that, I'm in. I saw Tony Signani the other day and him and I, I've, we've always had our like, kind of differences when it comes to that. We, we just don't gel well together, but it was great talking to him about, about gambling. The thing that I have a difficult time with is when I'm not in control. And you could probably tell it's, even though it's garage night and we all get to talk, I probably do like 70% of the talking. So, uh, there's some guests. <laughs> That's not our fault. Well, I like it though. There's, I like it. I like it too. <laughs> there's some, <laughs> There's some guests that I have on in in various times that they do 98% of the talking. And I'm like, this isn't what this is for. This is just for you, bud. Why don't you pay me money to, even though I'm putting you on the show and and you think you're doing a great, but we can do it. Pay me money. So set your boundary. That's true. And say, like... For for this, we were, we were taking longer breaks. We weren't doing it every week anyway. Right. So you take a month off, let's say. 
Okay. And you don't do anything for a month. How about a year? See if it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you really... Let's take really off meant, 2025. If it's meant to be, <laughs> you let it go. And <laughs> if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. <laughs> so you're off for a month. Yeah. You tell everybody I'm not doing any recording for a month for anything. Okay. And I'm done. But I feel guilty because I got all these guilty Patreons too. Because I'm getting money for doing nothing. Turn it off for a month. I don't do that. Kind of got it budgeted in my budget. No, <laughs> no I mean, I'm just, just joking. joking. Aren't you getting paid to do nothing that's, anyway? That's more of a, that's What's more the of, difference? That's more of a personal problem. Start it in August. What is it? Start it October. Turn it off for October and don't record in October. Take a full month for yourself. Do whatever you want to do. Don't record. Then come back to it. Your so your sober October is not doing We're not recording. Full but what if we like? And then you decide if you want to continue doing Garage Night. And that's what you like, and you miss doing Garage There's Night. There's probably other shows, though, that you probably want to do before and, Garage Night. And then decide what you want to bring back. <laughs> <laughs> and then decide what you want to bring back. And only bring that back, and that's your boundary. I'm only doing this, and I'm only doing it this many times, and I'm not doing every recording that somebody asked me to do because they have an idea. I like that. I like to. I would like to try new things, and, and maybe I feel like with, with the Full Buddy cast being like... Uh, that's almost a boundary in itself because I've never done video and I don't even know if I want to do video. Uh, we won't go on video. But but I'm talking like, would, but would you want to go golf around and BS? That's all I do when I golf around. I'm not a golfer. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's fun. And so some. Ooh, bringing up golfing just real quick so everybody knows. Cause Are you I, still a golfer? I'm a golfer. I finally did it. I broke 90. Oh, wow. I was stoked. Uh, what course? At Eden Claw. Nice. I probably, I probably couldn't do it anywhere else, but I broke 90 at Eden Claw. Nice I was, job. I was super excited. What, was it 89 or was it like 88? 87. 87. Wow. What I was... still lost that day, though, to my old man. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm working on breaking 110. Nice. <laughs> Believe me, I did break 90, but in my head, every time I golf, I'm still going to say I need to get 100. It was just a one time off, but I was super excited. Well, it's something to think about, and I appreciate I'm going to think about the different types of... I've, I've listened to a podcast, and they do this. They, it, they People call in and ask for help, and two of them help them, and they give them scenarios for their help, and at the end, they ask, what are you going to do? So well, what are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> quit? For the month? Yeah. Or, still, still throwing it out there. Or 20, quit all together. 2025 off. See if it comes back. <laughs> We'll see. Why wouldn't you just take the no, 2024 off the rest of it? No, that's only three months. It's We're not coming back till 2026. He's going to miss you. We're not coming back till he 2026. Will, he will miss you. He can't go that long without you. That's true. That's He'll true. see me downtown every once in a while. He will never see me, ever. <laughs> <laughs> not in a million years. <laughs> I'll be in Montana by then. Well, let's do shout outs. I'm going to shout out the, the Patreon. Thank you for sticking with me during my boogle, like just my bumbled head. Uh, October is free. Kellen Hall, Holly Graff. It's my birthday month. I, we'll see. Ha- Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, <laughs> Adam Kenny Art, birthday? Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Amanda <laughs> Keating, Shakina Sarver, Jared Skelly, Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts, Jamie Kenny, uh, Jackson Zyduk, Sasha Carey Lynn. Uh, Thomas Savageo, Cameron Stratton, he just reached out and sent me a text the, the other day. That was nice to hear. Uh, Homer Robertson always reaching out. He, he wants to be on. Maybe he'll be on a garage night. Uh, yeah, so, how about them 49ers, huh? Dude, they <laughs> suck. <laughs> they are garbage. He'd come on here and I talk to us when talk. 49ers are 0 5. Dude, I, I cannot wait to see. Uh, like, I think the Niners are playing. Uh, who are they playing? The Broncos this week? I don't think they're going to beat the Broncos. I think the Broncos, the, the, the spread is 10 points. Dude, there's no way. Broncos are covering that spread. And Dan Coot Snyder, we need to get, I can't wait to start getting some of O Chef Country Kitchen food again. It's that weather time. I can't wait to eat it. I had it the other day. It's delicious. Oh, dude, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to it. I had the fettuccine. The fettuccine. And it was delicious. Uh, Craig, who's your shout outs? You know, we've, we've uh, shouted out. Uh, people on here for for listening <clears throat> but i will do another shout out yeah. to anybody that has stuck it out four years oh i didn't think almost four, four years four now or more years i do not understand why you're still listening no me neither but thank you thank you i didn't think that's where we were going i thought we were gonna have the same shout out what? and we were gonna shout out our host for all these great wonderful years dan coot snyder 
Polygraph. I'll and, shout out the host for as soon as he decides that all these there's no longer a show. Great <laughs> equipment and time together. Bull. And know that the Bentley brothers support you no matter what you do. Thank you. That's why I'm still here. Yeah. Craig's going to start the bully fuddy cast. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me. He's not going to put the effort in to do another. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys opening up your guys' days every once in a while to come together. Uh, quite a bit, actually. And we've done fantasy football. I get hit up. Hey, we should do this. We do fantasy. It's like, dude, I've already done it. If I'm going to do fo- if I'm if I'm going to do fantasy football stuff again, it's going to be with you guys. I'm not going to do it with anyone else. Not it. Uh, and then did you just give him permission. I said not. Oh, I we did hardball, soft talk. Um, Those are great episodes. Those were some decent episodes. Those are great. Yeah. That's that's what I don't, ty- think, I don't think it was awesome. You should like as soon as you decide to not if you do decide to not do this gun, we have some unreleased episodes that you were afraid to release that we should just release all at once. Was there's one with Jackson. <laughs> well, there's that one. That one you're not afraid of. There's I'm one with Lee that sleep. you never released also. It was me, you and Lee. No, I think I cut no, no. I cut out like a yeah, portion of it. I think he cut out. I, I, I released it, but I cut out a portion of it. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, he cut out all the Nazi talk. Let's just do full, full release. <laughs> full. Craig wants to go full Nazi. <laughs> I, never said I have to cut this out. <laughs> Why? I didn't. I he was. If I can talk about my meetings, I can talk about that. It's the same thing. Well, we were well, mm, in. No, in it's not. Who do you think is there? He, we were talking about. <laughs> for those that are listening, still <laughs> surprise. It's an hour and five minutes. We were talking about dictators, and he was considering me a dictator, and he was calling me freaking Hitler. Lee was? I think so. What a so. jerk. He said you were acting like it. That doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's true. It means nothing. Especially, <laughs> especially you come from Lee. Yeah. If anything, you're acting probably like a seven-year-old because you're upset about your birthday <laughs> money. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great week. Uh, we'll see if this ever uh, keeps going on. Yeah, this is fun, though. I do enjoy it. For and I, I know that warmed Corey's heart. Hey, I I will say one more thing. Yes. If we do, d- or I love if you, you Travis, I'm Craig. I love you, <laughs> Travis. I love you. It's Craig. If you decide to be done, I will promise that w- we will do a, a goodbye episode on your grave. No, a goodbye episode. You guys, you still, promise you guys bet grave? still has to happen. <laughs> No, we're promising oh, yeah. if we decide to not to be done, yes. we will do a goodbye. It's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We it might be a five minute episode, we but we'll quick. just Craig, say goodbye. Craig just wants to say goodbye. <laughs> no, he just wants to laugh for five minutes hysterically and say he won, he won, he won. <laughs> and he, 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 over and over, I did it, I did it. <laughs> it's gonna, he's gonna be like the. We're doing the, it right now. <laughs> he's gonna be the people in the in the in the. Boat when when uh, on what about Bob when the house explodes <laughs> and they're just cackling and loving it. Oh, I will do a final episode so that way I can give you my bill. Ooh, because you actually signed a contract. <laughs> Remember that sixty dollars an hour friend <laughs> thing yeah, I was that, doing. That, that, <laughs> Hopefully you've been started, saving that Patreon money. <laughs> yeah, <That's>, started four <laughs> years ago. It was a it was an nil deal. <laughs> you were supposed to be going to college this entire time. You never did. So it's, it's oh, I was going to Green River. Uh, prove it. Show me the transcripts. I just went there. I didn't go to class. <laughs> I was. I parked in their parking, <laughs> their extension campus parking lot, and walked over yeah. here. <laughs> Stupid. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.